He was not so good as a lecturer. I mean, he was quite impressive in his way. Uh, but what, where he was really impressive was in the seminar. Mm. Uh, the seminar then, I think, was a fairly new thing in British universities. And I seem to remember that seminar uh, from the German, I think, it came to us, meant uh, a seed bed. Uh, and it was a seed bed of the mind. And Malinowski was superb as a seminar leader. The thing which always he would come back to is, now, what is the problem? And you had to strip away all the accidentals, as it were, and focus on the problem. And it was continually analytical, questioning. And in that way, it was most impressive. Malinowski, undoubtedly, was one of the really most powerful influences intellectually upon me at that time. I found as time went on that I differed from him in a number of intellectual respects and emotional as well. But um, my memories of him are among the most vivid, I think, of my early anthropological life. That um, temperamentally we were set in very different moulds. Um, he was intellectually sparkling, emotionally outgoing, often mandatory, firm in statement, adroit in manipulation of persons, but fundamentally convic convic convinced, really, of the values of loyalty and friendship. He made a lot of this um, far-reaching in his imaginings to but always with a certain touch of melancholy um, linked with his frequent bouts of migraine and threats of illness. In me, I think, he found um, someone more sober, lacking the touches of brilliance which marked him, but contributing a, a kind of um, adjudicating comment to our discussions. He said that on various occasions. Um, more reserved in person, perhaps, less revealing, more tentative in generalizations. Inhibited somewhat by what he called my Methodist background, which he made quite a bit. Uh, but he thought, I think, that I was reliable as a junior partner in intellectual achievements. 